All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching The Hateful Eight, another Quentin Tarantino movie. Now, what do I know about this movie? Um, I know it's a Western. There's a lot of I know there's eight of them. And I know they're all hateful. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know what like the plot of this movie is or anything. So I'm going into this movie completely blind and I'm excited and I can't wait. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next Quentin Tarantino movie will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. The eighth film by Quentin Tarantino the hateful eight. Oh, that's cool how it's the eighth film and has eight in the title that's pretty cool samuel l jackson oh yeah the cast in this is amazing too i kind of saw like a preview of it yeah kurt russell the only actors i know by name samuel jackson and kurt russell the other ones i don't know by names but i recognize their face so and channing tatum yeah Man, Quentin Tarantino really loves his long shots, his long dramatic shots. Trying to bring a couple no goods in the market. Got the paperwork on them in my pocket. You taking them into Red Rock? Nigga, that's where you hit it, right? That damn blasted blizzard has been on our ass for the last three hours. There ain't no way we're gonna make it all the way to Red Rock before it catches us. Halfway to Minutes Haberdashery. You know I am. May I come aboard? Who's it up to? Fella in the wagon. And you raise both your hands way above your hat. <laughs> I'll be dog. Something or other Warren, right? I know you too. You're John Ruth the Hangman. Trying to get a couple of bounties in the Red Rock. Don't even know her name. Nope. Maybe you might heard tell about the price on her head. How much? Ten thousand mm. dollars. That's why I ain't too anxious to be handing out rides, especially to professionals yeah. open for business. Yeah, so he has known some of the steal and the bounty from him. One of my fellows over there is worth 4000 another one's worth three, and one of them's worth one. Like I said, molasses like. Back off. I mean, yeah, you can't trust anyone back in back in the day. Even if, like, you know, the, like, they know each other, they had dinner once, but still, they're both bounty hunters. Never know, you might try and steal your bounty. But Samuel Jackson already has his bounties that are worth a good amount anyway, so. Okay, boy, we'll give it a try. Who's this Daisy Damagu? No damn good murdering bitch, that's who. So you taking in the Red Rock to hat? <laughs> you bet. Mm -hmm. I want to hear her neck snap with my own two ears. My bounties never hang. Because mm -hmm. I never bring them in alive. Yep, I was going to say, because they're not alive. That's why they call him the hang. When the handbill says dead or alive, he brings him in alive. But when John Roof, the hangman, catches you, don't have no bullet in the back. Mm -hmm. You hang. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just get shot in the head. I get it, he got guts. But in the brains department, you're like a man who took a high dive in a low well. <laughs> what, she got like something up her sleeve? She's doubting his intelligence? Like she's gonna outsmart him and get away or something? Hmm. She's gonna try and make a deal or something with Samuel. Bro, I think it's so annoying hearing the driver just say that. Say, get in there and giddy up the entire time, like the entire ride. Mean to unduly imply intimacy, but you can. <laughs> well, you can hear him in the background as they're talking. I still got what? <laughs> the Lincoln letter. Hmm. Of course. Got it on you? Mm -hmm. Look, I know you gotta be real careful with it and all, and I... Mm, he wants to see it. And if you wouldn't mind, sure appreciate seeing that again. See, it's how you saved my life and all. I suppose I can let you read it again. And that gets me. <laughs> you know what this is, Tramp. Letter from Lincoln to him. She's gonna take it and just crumple it. Is just one of the letters. Oh! Oh, what the oh, 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 Yeah, I knew she was gonna do something and like. Rip my goddamn arm off! Yeah, she goes flying out, he's going right with her because they're handcuffed. Ain't no goddamn. <laughs> what? There's another fella on foot up here on the road. Mm. Oh, you're leaving her? 
Are you going to try and get away? Considering there's a blizzard going on. Yeah, you're not going to A lot of fellas walking around, wouldn't you say, Major? Well, seeing as how I'm half of them fellas, uh, yeah. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of them. This changes things, son. Mm. You really think I'm in cahoots with that fella or her? He's just gonna put the handcuffs on so he knows he can trust them. And so he doesn't shoot him and kill him. Chapter 2, Son of a Gun. Is that you, Chris Mannix? He knows him too. It's Erskine's youngest boy, Chris. A business in Red Rock? Yes, I do. What? I'm the new sheriff. Hmm. Well, once I get there, they swear me in. But th that ain't happened yet. And, and that's when you get your star. You're never gonna be the sheriff. Anything that can back any of this up? Yeah. When we get to Red Rock... So you're capping right now. Well, the man in Red Rock's supposed to pay you mm -hmm. is me. Yep. The new sheriff. So we, we, ha we have to take him. Don't need to get me to Red Rock. So I'm supposed to freeze to death because you find something hard to believe? Just in case. Just in case. He actually is going to be the new sheriff. We have to take him. Because imagine we don't. He makes it there alive. Like, bro. <laughs> you can't restart. Oop. Oh, he refused. Then you'll freeze. Mm. Then you'll hang. Yeah, because he's the sheriff. Red Rock is my town now. And I'm going to enter my town in Bounty Hunter's Chains, no sir. I don't know. He could be cop and we don't know. <laughs> that way. Now when you finally get to Red Rock, you're going to realize every goddamn thing I said was right. To tell the townsfolk of Red Rock that John Ruth let that new sheriff freeze to death. If he, if he freezes to death, then we're not telling a soul that we ran, even ran into you. Don't, no one will ever know. As long as no one here says a word, no one will ever know. I'll help you protect your 8,000. You help me protect my 10. Yep. Deal? Because if we don't give you a ride right now, you'll freeze to death out here. It will be a very long time until, until your body is even found. So no one will ever know that it was us that let you die. There's no way they'd ever trace it back to any of us in here. And there's no way Obi, the driver, would ever fucking tell anyone in the town what actually happened. Because he's just as responsible for letting you die than technically. Like, he's just as fault. He'll be hung too. Why would he ever, why would he ever say a word? Like, because of honor? Like, eh, I guess. You want to show me how grateful you are? Shut up. <laughs> I know about $30,000 reward the Confederacy put on the head of Major Marquez. Damn. <laughs> She's trying to turn them against them. Do we know if there's a legit 30000 bounty on them? Hmm. She could have just made that up and turned them against each other. So hopefully they kill each other and she gets away. Beck, well, the South took my continued existence as a personal affront. The cause put a reward on my head. Well, you burn up some of your own boys, didn't you, Major? I think I'll scoot over here right by this window and let this beautiful carriage rock me to sleep and dream about how lucky I am. Yeah, you should shut the fuck up. Okay, th we're 35 minutes into this movie and the entire time we've been in a goddamn stagecoach. But despite that, it's shocking how this like isn't boring. <laughs> so it looks like you were stuck with us. And then he and Sweet Dave inside. Hey, here! I'm running the place while they're gone. Ah! Ah! Hold it, shut! There's a hammer and nails by the door. You have to nail it, shut the door. Give me a hammer. Yeah. <sighs> oh, we uh, we gotta re-nail it when we let all them in. Ah! Get it! Get it! Get it! Two pieces of wood. What ain't good? Oh my God. <laughs> Not just one piece of wood! And then it's just gonna get kicked open as soon as they're done. Do you have a warrant? Of course I do. May I see it? Mm, why? You're supposed to produce it upon request. How am I supposed to know you're not a villain kidnapping this woman without a warrant in your possession? I got my warrant, Oswaldo. <laughs> it says here, dead or alive, 
Yeah. Transporting mm -hmm. a desperate... Wouldn't transporting her be easier if she were dead? Uh, he likes to see him hang, though. Why is her hanging proper so important to you? Let's just say I don't like cheating a hangman. He gotta make a living, too. Well, I appreciate that. I'm Oswaldo Mowbray, the hangman in these parts. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so, so far, he's run into the new sheriff. New sheriff, whatever, if that's true or not, of Red Rock, and the hangman who's gonna hang Daisy, and it's kind of a crazy coincidence so far. Yeah, it's like I brought you a customer. That's how it would He's gonna try and steal her. In a... Now. All right. Damn cut. Joe Gage. What? That's my name. Why are you going to Red Rock? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to Red Rock. Because I definitely am uh, coming home for Christmas to spend time with mother type. Mm. Fair enough, General. All right, so, so far, nothing in this movie has really happened. But so far, they've just given us a lot of setup on every single character we've been introduced to. It's all just setting up for something that has to happen in this movie. Like, I'm not really sure where this movie's going. The story's headed, but... I feel like they're all just gonna get pissed off at each other and kill each other. And I'm sorry, I heard that somebody in your party had a letter from Abraham Lincoln. I assumed it was you. Who's, wait, where'd you hear that from? Wait, they never mentioned that. How, how would you know someone in, did I miss where they mentioned that? Cause like, I don't think, I don't think anyone mentioned that. So like, how would he know somebody in the stagecoach had a letter from Abraham Lincoln? Like he said he heard it, but like, I don't think they ever said it. Those, uh... <sighs> Captain Chris Mannix, Mannix Marauders. Ernst Chris boy? Yes, sir. Boy that lives in Red Rock. My son, Chester Charles Smithers. He died out here a few years back. Keep holding, keep holding right now, yeah. people. They fought on opposite sides of the war against each other. And he was a general in the war. I think Samuel Jackson's definitely killing him. Inform this old cracker that I was in Baton Rouge also, on the other side. So we shot him where they stood. Gentlemen! Mm. Gentlemen. Yeah, please kill him, bro. While I realize passions are high, that was a while ago. And if you mm. shoot this unarmed old man, oh, I guarantee I will hang you yeah. by the neck and... I damn well guarantee that, too. Yeah. Yeah, sheriff and the, the sheriff is gonna vouch for him because he's on his side of the civil war. Them fellas is not what he says he is. Hmm. In cahoots with this one, that's what he is. One of them, maybe even two of them, is here to see Domergoo goes free. Got him a couple of days, so all they gotta do is sit tight and wait for a window of opportunity. If you say so, John. Waiting for an opportunity and knowing it's the right one isn't so easy. He can't handle it. He'll stop waiting. Try and create his opportunity, and that's when Mr. Jumpy reveals himself. What do I got to say? He's absolutely right. Hmm. Me and one of them fellows is in cahoots. Hmm. Is she just teasing or playing it off by teasing? by being sarcastic when maybe that she really is in cahoots with someone here. This here is Daisy Domergoo. She's wanted dead or alive for murder. $10,000. I ain't gonna lose it. I'm taking this woman into Red Rock to hang. <laughs> she, she doesn't seem nervous or it's just her personality, I guess. Like she doesn't seem nervous like there is a plan. Is there anybody here committed to stopping me from doing that well they're not gonna just say yes <laughs> like what if they had no idea no well, now everyone knows for sure and now they have an incentive to kill you when before they didn't and you were just being paranoid that they were never in like cahoots with her before in the first place but it is pretty random how we all ended up here by coincidence it is pretty sus so maybe they really were in cahoots i take his pistol how do you know he only has one gun, though? This cowboy could have a, a second one. A small one, you never know. Now he's, like, pissed off that that happened and everything, you know? She feels embarrassed. And that's his reason to kill you. 
If I had to guess who is in cahoots here with her, I'm gonna say it's the new sheriff and the hangman because they're gonna be the ones dealing with her in Red Rock, so they would be the ones protecting. That makes the most sense as of right now. They have the most power in Red Rock out of everyone here, so. Take this bucket and dump it down a shithole. Damn. Why do I gotta go outside? Because I trust you. Already on and I sort of kind of trust you. Mm-hmm. What if he doesn't do it? The movie might pump fake us right here and make it seem like he did it, but he really didn't, so we can get those guns later. Oh. Or maybe someone gets desperate later, they run out there, put their hand down there, and get all the uh, get all the pieces to the gun and build it really quick. Ah, that'd be gross. Thing about back in this day, back in this time, no one knows you by face, they know you by name and reputation. So the sheriff and the, the hangman executioner would be able to swap her out with someone else, hang them publicly, and then oh she's dead, and then she gets away if she is in cahoots with them. That that would make the most sense. It's the three of them working together right here to kill everyone in here. The right opportunity happens, and they all get away when this blizzard's over. Wait, but actually, but then there's no one to like turn her in and get them. Who gets the money then in that case? that That's the issue. The sheriff can't give the money to himself. The hangman can't turn her in for the money. Like that you could behind the scenes, but like publicly, I don't think you could do that. So maybe there's another person in here working with them who's gonna turn her in publicly and receive the money publicly. And then they swap her out with someone. The public only knows her by name, not by face. So no one, will, no one would ever know. They they hung the wrong person. I'm probably completely wrong, but that's just my guess so far. But then who would like publicly turn her in to collect the money? Hmm, that, I don't know. Maybe, could be Opie, maybe. But he's just a driver, so. Oh wait, no, 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 it could be Opie actually, because on the, they didn't mean to pick up Samuel Jackson. That was, a, that was totally random. Yeah, Opie is in cahoots with the sheriff and Daisy and the hangman and they picked up the sheriff that was not by accident so they could all bring him here and then kill him get the money and everything okay that's my guess because we randomly found him and i don't think it's so random now the way john tells it y'all was practically pen pal yes john didn't say it though since you've been here yeah that's okay okay so that's my issue right now <laughs> wait uh, the executioner. How do they know about the letter? John hasn't mentioned it since we've picked you up and we've been in this house. There's no reason why you should know about this letter. Unless he did, I just completely missed it. But I don't think I did. This movie's fucking gaslighting me right now. Of course it was. <laughs> Samuel Jackson might have just said that, so they just fucking drop it and stop pestering about him to see it. But, ooh, but yeah, that makes John angry because he feels lied to now. Can't trust a fucking word comes out of your mouth. And now he can't trust them. I don't know. He could be telling the truth. Not like it's a fake letter, and that's why he did it. You want to know why I lied? Got me on that stage, coach, didn't it? It worked. Hmm. You leave that old man alone. Stand down, you son of a bitch. I shared a battlefield with this man. How's life since the war? Got both my legs. <laughs> both my arms. Yeah, a lot of people didn't make it out the war with their limbs. Georgia gal? Yeah, Samuel Jackson's getting the gnome. He's trying to bring the tension down between them, so. I feel like he's just gonna, he's just gonna kill him, dude. He's just gonna kill him, no mercy. You knew my boy? Hmm. Yep. You did not know my boy. Was he already in the house when they were talking about that earlier? I don't think he was. Did you know my son? I know the day hmm. he died. You want to know what day that was? Hmm. The day he met me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. the setup to that was really good. There wasn't no fortune to be found. All they found was me. <laughs> I'll go my way, you go yours. That's your boy, Chester talking. Yeah, he, he knows his name. He If he wasn't in the house when they were talking about earlier, he wouldn't know his name. He wouldn't have overheard him say his name. Was he? Wait, fuck, was he? I don't remember. He might have been in the house, actually, when they were talking about this. He didn't know your boy? I made him strip right down to his bags. 
I walked his naked ass for two hours yeah. before the code collapsed. They're trying to get you to go for that gun. Yeah, he could just be antagonizing him and just making all this up. If he was in the house when they were talking about it, I think he's making this up. But if he wasn't in the house when they talked about it, then he's telling the truth. Because he couldn't have overheard them talking about it. You want to know what your boy did? And I made him crawl through the snow on all foes over to it. Yeah, he's just trying to get this old man to shoot him so he can, so Samuel Jackson can kill him. And I stuck my... So what you gonna do, old man? Hmm. You gonna spend the next two, three days ignoring how I made him suffer? Hmm. Dumbest thing your boy ever did was to let me know he was your boy. Hmm. Yep. Okay, I paused it. I'm gonna go back really quick just to see if Samuel Jackson was in the house when he was talking about his kid, just to see if he was lying or not. Nope, he wasn't in the house yet. Nope, nope, he wasn't. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Dude, so much time like passed and we got so much information since that conversation. It's like, it's like you kind of, you kind of start to forget like whether or not the character was here when they, when this character was talking about this or not. Like, so yeah, Samuel Jackson, he wasn't in the house. So that actually, that all actually happened, be but he obviously said it all to just antagonize him and then get him to try and kill him just because no matter like that general, he's so old now when he draws his gun it's gonna be it's gonna be way too slow samuel jackson's reaction is just you know and samuel jackson's just anticipating him doing that so he's ready to shoot him right away john ruth held the door closed waiting for joe gage and ob to return yeah like there's no point in nailing it every single time like just hold it unless you're gonna be gone for like an hour i wouldn't say there's a point in nailing it every time let's go back a bit <laughs> 15 minutes ago major warren shot general smithers in front of everybody Okay. But about 40 seconds before that, something equally as important happened, but not everybody saw. Okay. While Major Warren was captivating the crowd with tales of black dicks and white mouths, somebody poisoned the coffee. Ooh, okay. Oh, they, they have a glove on. All right, who has gloves on now? And the only one to see him do it was Daisy. Was Domergo. She's not going to say shit. She's gonna get, she's gonna wait until John drinks that coffee and... Domergu's got a secret. Yep. Okay, he has gloves on, he has gloves on. All right, everyone has gloves on, so it doesn't even matter. But where was the hangman when that was going on? I don't remember where he was, but I... Fuck, I, now I really gotta pay attention to like where everyone's at, at all times. I just kind of feel like the hangman was near the coffee when, uh, when Samuel Jackson shot the general, so... That's my guess. And if it was the hangman, then that goes back into my theory of of uh, Daisy, Domergu, the hangman, and the sheriff all working with each Oh, and Obi all working with each other, so. Got another verse to it? Yeah, a lot. Go ahead. Sing it. Mm. Mm, dude, her fucking, her demeanor, dude. She, she's so confident. I mean, she has, she obviously has a plan or something. Could have been him. Ah, but I don't. He could have poisoned the coffee, but I again, like I don't. I don't remember where he was standing exactly either. I, I think he was at the table, though, if I remember right. I think everyone was at the table except for Daisy and the Hangman. That's why I think it has to be the Hangman then. Music time's over. What? Damn. Whoa! She lost her accent right there. Oh, he's about to drink the coffee and die. <sighs> Daisy, whoa, wait, 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 wait. If Daisy stops him though, then, oh, oh shit, John. Oh, okay, half in the jump. Daisy wasn't gonna stop him though. The sheriff, the sheriff. All right, fuck, John's dead. Oh, I hope he's dead too. Okay, so. I think that means my theory's wrong because Daisy was about to stop. She was gonna let him die. So she wasn't working with him in, in the first place. The fact that OB died means that um they weren't in cahoots with him either. So, okay, my theory was wrong, but that still means it could have been the hangman that poisoned it. Dude. Oh my God! Yeah. Ha! Ha! Everybody, get your backsides up against that back wall over yonder. It's probably just a cowboy, honestly, dude. The per the dude I suspect the least. I don't. Remember, I think he's just at the table in the back too, when Samuel Jackson shot the general. So, 
the table that he's been at since we came since we got here. But I know you ain't the killer poison that coffee because yeah. you almost drunk at your own damn self. Yeah. One of them is. I'm gonna guess it's the executioner. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, I have to make a decision right now on who it is, okay? It's so tough because I think it could have been the executioner, but I think that's what the movie wants us to think. It's probably the it's probably the cowboy because he's barely he's had the least amount of screen time. Killed the only man here committed to getting you to Red Rock alive. None of us in here care if she dies. Is working with her. A two of y'all. All y'all is. But only one of you poisoned the coffee. Fuck it. I'm just gonna say it's the executioner that poisoned the coffee. I'm not completely sold on that. I'm 50-50 between him and the cowboy, but I'm I'm leading towards the executioner though. Oh, that's right, Joe Gage. I'm looking at you. Hmm, the cowboy. Not so fast, Chris. Oh. Now, how long you say Minnie been gone? A week? So if Minnie is on the north side visiting her mama for a week, how she make the stew this morning? Mm. This is Sweet Day's chair. If he went to the north side, I'm pretty goddamn sure this chair be going with him. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> but I don't think he'd take the fucking chair. Sweet Day's goddamn blood. I see it, senor Bob. It's whoever is working with her, ain't who they say they is. That means Minnie and her man ain't at her mama's. They laying out back there dead, so. We go by my theory, which is the ugliest guy did it, <laughs> which makes it you, Joe Gage. <laughs> he, just want, he just hates Joe Gage. I was sitting on that side of the room yeah. playing Silent Night on the- Yeah, 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 yeah. But you might be working on there. And at some point, y'all intended the bushwhack John Root and free Daisy, but you didn't count on the blizzard, and you didn't count on the two of us. Hmm. And it's a little bit more than a theory. The most precious thing to her in the whole world and left it in the hands of a goddamn Mexican? And if you lying, put you off, then you killed many. Oh, and three days. Oh. I shit. I mean, like, I guess he did kill Minnie and Dave. And the last Samuel Jackson just murdered the wrong person. Sure, it's confident. <laughs> I mean, you no, know, I think Senior Bob, he probably did kill Dave and Minnie, but doesn't tell us who poisoned the coffee. Stop! Oh, all right, I did it. Oh, it was me. I poisoned the coffee. <laughs> Bro, I, like I fucking knew it. Oh my god, I'm so pissed. Cause I said I was 50-50 on him, the cowboy. Bitch the hell! What is my, what is... You killed OB? He's worth 10 what? of you. Dynamite Boy, underneath? Can I kill him? Say adios to you. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so the executioner dude is working with Daisy. It's, Daisy. it's him and the cowboy, okay. I was wrong about being the sheriff. Fuck, if I just had the cowboy, I would've got it right. And also, whoever is under the house is working with them. Earlier that morning. It's Senior Bob. It's the Executioner. It's the Cowboy. Yep. Oswald and Mowbray, man. Cowboy? Joe but, Gage. Who's, who's the fourth one? The Sheriff? And I'm Joe. Uh, oh, it's Channing Tatum! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Channing Tatum was the one in the basement. I didn't even realize that was him in the basement who shot Samuel Jackson. Dude, I totally forgot Channing Tatum was in this. What do you think? Yeah. Just come in here and kill everyone. That's why the fucking door doesn't work. So yeah, Samuel Jackson's theory was right. They came here this morning. Murdered everyone here, and they're gonna run up on John the Free Daisy. But they just didn't anticipate this blizzard happening, and Samuel Jackson and the sheriff showing up. It wasn't just two of them working, it was four of them working. It was the cowboy, the executioner, Senior Bob, and Channing Tatum. And he's gonna have my sister with him. Hmm, okay, Daisy's his sister. So that's why they're doing this, okay. Now killing that fella before he kills my sister ain't gonna be easy, but you better believe that's exactly what we're gonna do. So the name of the game here is patience. 
there and shot my nuts off. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, I feel like everyone's gonna die. Oh my, wait on my right foot. I'm just being sarcastic. I don't give a fuck about you, man. <laughs> One, two. No, 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 don't shoot her in the head. I'm coming up. Now throw out your other pistol. I ain't got another pistol. Well, you better shit another pistol out your ass. Because if you don't <laughs> throw one up in the next two seconds, we're gonna kill this bitch. <laughs> Yeah, he has one. Yep. <laughs> See? Don't. What if he has a third? How are you doing, dummy? Better. Now I see your ugly face. <laughs> How you like that? You bushwhacking castrator. What are you doing? He was getting up. Nah. It took him too long, so I've done it for him. <laughs> nah, he had to die. I had a feeling they were just gonna kill him. It was too sincere of a moment for a Quentin Tarantino movie. Keep your hands flat on that table. Mm. In the middle of danger, you're about to be murdered. Okay, bitch. I'm working with all three of them fellas. Mm. But because we're all gang members, the Jody Domingue gang. Who? That's what I thought. That fella y'all just killed in the basement was Jody Domingue, who? my brother. <laughs> well, who the hell yeah. is Jody Domingue? Irrelevant. He was a big, bad cat, worth $50,000. fuck. And every member of his gang was worth at least 10, which finally explains why you worth 10. My brother's 15 men coming straight here for us. Tell him, Grouch. jody got 15 men waiting at Red Rock. Mm. Oh, fuck. Their job was to sack the town. Kill John Ruth and free Daisy there. Yes, I'm telling you, you ain't done anything yet that we can't forgive. So, let's make a deal. No deal. What's your deal? Take your gun, shoot dead. Nope. Then we sit here all nice like for the next two days. Nope. We go to Mexico, you go on to Red Rock, get that star pinned on your chest. How about I just kill you, kill everyone else in here, and I still get that star pinned on my chest anyway for killing all these gang members. Hmm. Why we wouldn't just kill all y'all. Cash in. And you'll never leave this mountain alive. Because when that snow melts, the rest of Jody's gang, all 15 of them that were waiting in Red Rock, are coming here. If you really want all that Domingue gang bounty money, you still got to get all our corpses into Red Rock. And then it's gonna be so easy. Yeah, and the gang will we'll run into the rest of the gang. And you're gonna run smack dab into the Domingue gang. Yep. And again, they're gonna go back to Red Rock and kill every son of a bitch in that town. You wanna save the town? Then shoot that <laughs> dead! <laughs> ah, Jesus! Oh, 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 you believe in Jesus now, huh, bitch? Well, good, because you got to me. Anybody else wanna make a deal? Huh? Take my buddy, sit out of snow with Daisy and Grace. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Oh shit! Oh my God, his ass! The way the way the sheriff was like that shot of him shooting the gun. <laughs> oh no! The sheriff has to kill her. Give me my best Get He's not gonna do it because he's worried about the 15 killers. Don't kill Sam Jackson. I swear to God, bro. I'll be so pissed. Oh my God. You leave here, meet up with your gang, and hide till it to Mexico. That's the deal, right? Mm. Well, Jody's worth 50,000. What about his body? Mm. You gonna make a deal mm. with this diabolic. I mean, this kind of works out now for the sheriff because he's the one in the middle. Sam Jackson's out of bullets. He could watch her just sit there. Sam Jackson can't leave the bed. He shot his nuts out off. Oswald, though, whatever, and Joe Gage is dead. He doesn't have to worry about them trying to do anything now, so he so he can just monitor this, which is nice. And like, I get I get the sheriff not wanting to kill her. No deal. Trap. Oh, no deal. Chris! You're making the biggest mistake of your life! We're 
But she might be bluffing about the 15 killers coming. If she's not, then we're for sure dying, and then the town of Red Rock's actually fucked. She could just be bluffing about him, though. And that's probably what he thinks. In order for me to be scared of your threats, I got to believe in those 15 extra gang members waiting it out in Red Rock. Yep. A grouch, Douglas, whatever the fuck his name was. Poison the coffee. Mm hmm. You watched me pour a cup and you didn't say shit. Yeah, she didn't. And you are what you've always been a lying bitch who will do anything to cheat the rope weight for her and Red Rock, including shitting out 15 extra gang members. I don't feel so good. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, now there's nothing stopping her from doing something. <laughs> I mean, the only thing stopping her is John Ruth's dead body because she has to drag him. The floor. Wake the fuck up! <laughs> Sam, you, Sam Jackson, you just gotta crawl and get the, get his gun. Oh! Wake up, white boy! You gotta just, you gotta crawl to him and get his gun and shoot her and kill her. Ooh. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Now we've come to the part of the story. Where I blow your goddamn head off. No, 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 don't shoot him. Why the hell not? But the last thing that bastard did before he died was save your life. Mm -hmm. We're gonna die, white boy. There is one thing left we do have a say in. And that's how we kill this bitch. Mm, okay, okay. I say shooting's too good for her. Yeah, shooting her in the face would be mercy. When hangman catches you, you don't die by no bullet. Okay, also, I just want to clarify. When I was saying hangman, like, 90% of the time, I was referring to the executioner because he was, the, like, the literal hangman who, like, would pull the lever to make him hang. So I feel like it's, oh, they're going to hang her. Oh, they're hanging her. Yeah, they're going to make sure she gets hung. I see that Lincoln letter. Every time I hear news of you, oh, Mary Todd, that's a nice touch. All right, whoa, that was The Hateful Eight. A very fun mystery movie. We got a, and it was a really fun watch. It was really fun to kind of try and figure out who's working with who, who poisoned the coffee, who's working with Daisy. It ended up being four of them working with her, not just one or two, like they were suspecting. But yeah, I kind of got it right. I was under the impression it only was one or two of them, like they were suspecting too. So, well, no, I guess it was three of them. And I got one right. <laughs> I got one right. Like, what the fuck? I said it was Oswaldo, Obi, and the Sheriff. One of them was right. It was Oswaldo, okay? Like, duh. That's a good twist, how it was four of them working with them. Now, I totally forgot Shannon Tatum was in this movie, if I'm being honest. Like, so much time had passed by the time we saw him in the movie. I just totally forgot. <laughs> I think this is probably my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie I've seen so far. Like I said, it was fun trying to figure out who was working with who and everything, and who poisoned the coffee. That... Those were always super fun for me. My new list of Quentin Tarantino movies that we've seen for the channel so far goes Hateful Eight, Inglorious Bastards, Pulp Fiction, Django Unchained. That's my that's my list right now. And yeah, like what's really surprising is, I mean, it's just Quentin Tarantino. The answer is because it's Quentin Tarantino, but not much really happened in this movie. Like the beginning was Sam Jackson got picked up by John Ruth and the stagecoach then we came to this forget exactly what they were calling this place because like that's and then we got trapped in there and it was just the the drama was happening all inside of it and that's actually that's really surprising to be honest because it's like because this movie was two hours and like 45 minutes and it didn't feel like that at all this movie went by pretty quick i, I will say the first like hour was pretty slow and then once John Ruth kind of told us like what he's suspecting is going on that one of them is working with Daisy that's when it really picked up for me at least and I was like okay now I'm actually now I'm really interested in what's happening so like everything leading up to that I'm like I'm engaged I'm interested but it's not it's not as interesting as what happened after John Ruth kind of told us what he suspects is happening so and yeah they gave us a lot of information 
about every single character in this movie and it was all very important so it all it all connected in one way or another and that's that's the genius of quentin tarantino and the fact that he can make an interesting movie in literally one location the entire time is mind-blowing it's insane that just shows you how good the dialogue is how good the script is honestly i think like a scream movie by Quentin Tarantino, that would be insane that was the hateful eight comment down below just thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching